Stakeholders in the information, communication and technology sector are calling on government to put measures in place to check cyberbullying and other vices. Practitioners in the gaming industry made a call at a workshop in Lagos and Theophilo Selama reports. Global interactions and made the world a global village with free exchange of information, ideas, skills, culture and technology. However, it also raises a number of personal security risks. Cyberbullying is one of them. Few years ago, the National Assembly enacted an act called the Cyber Crimes Prohibition Prevention Act 2015. The purpose is to provide an effective and unified legal regulatory and institutional framework for the prohibition, prevention, detection, prosecution and punishment of cyber crimes in Nigeria. This formed reason for this forum. Young people today are born with phones in their hands, right? Um, a lot of them have access unrestricted to internet. So it becomes a problem when a young child doesn't really know so much about the harms that are happening online. One of the problems with the internet is access because it's so easy to get access. So traditionally, you know, when you placed a bet, you had to go to a betting shop. The betting shop would know who you were, you could prove you were 18. Online, it's always available. You just go on, you can download an app and start gambling straight away. And so one of the main issues with the online space is not that it's not safe, but there's just that access has been increased. Many here are of the view that the legislature will help protect many from the dangers inherent in the cyberspace. The role of the government in all this also is to um, enforce certain uh, penalties to uh, people who either fought online. So for instance, this is happening, we're talking about online harms, right? What are the laws that governs the uh, cyberspace? What are the laws that govern the cyberspace? And then what are the sanctions around this space also? So the government has a great opportunity. And the first thing is licensing and regulation. Um, once you start licensing gambling, then all of a sudden you can start to put controls around it and you can set the standards that they have to follow. A lot of people meet new people online, so I don't think we should um, fully, because many of them when they meet you, they tend to ask you for your pictures, tend to ask you some personal information about you. I think we should be careful when giving out this personal information, especially people we don't know and we met on internet. The internet has become a source of livelihood to many who have found ways to navigate the market, thereby making a living. It is believed that governments can do more to reduce the dangers associated with the internet by employing measures that will forestall cyber threats. Fiofilas Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.